Okay, welcome to our video on how to use the Dectronic All Sport scoreboard console. This is for the 30 second clock. Here is our 30 second clock controller. So whoever is stationed at this position will need to make sure they know how to use this properly. So right now the game is running. So that means I should be starting my 30 second clock. We start it once there's possession made on the ball and we don't need to reset it until there are one of these things. A shot hits the rim, a basket is scored, there's a change of possession, or a shooting foul is called. Now the first thing to do though is say a shot was made and it hits the rim, I reset it. If a shot goes in in a basket, I wanna do what we call a long reset. So I wait till the basket's scored, I hold it down, and then once the ball is inbounded, I let it go. So I can only let it go once the other player who's received the inbound pass from their teammate, I can then have that 30 second start again. So again, same thing. Someone takes a shot, it goes in. I hold it, if you notice, and then I let it go once the ball is inbounded. Okay, we call that again a, a long reset. But if a whistle goes, I just stop the clock. Now I don't wanna reset this until I know what's happening. And again, I would only reset this because a whistle went if there was a change of possession. So the other team gets the ball, I then would reset. If there is no change of possession, I may need to keep the time at 24. If the referee asked to maybe go to 18 because there was a foul called in the front court, I could put it to always to 18. If I say reset it by accident and the referee says, nope, it needs to go back to whatever it was, say it was 12 seconds, we need to go back to the score clock person and ask them to change it. And just a reminder, all we do is go edit, set shot time. I want the current time to be at 12 seconds. So I go, yes, put my second in. Now I'm showing 12 seconds. So when the game gets restarted, all I do is I start it when the ball is inbounded and the referee's hand goes down and we just continue on. Now for a girls game, they'll use a different 30 second clock. They use the 24 second clock. If you ever have to change it, all we need to do again is go to edit, set shot time. I'm not changing the current time. I'm gonna change the reset time. So the first one will be 24. I always go yes. And now I have to change the reset to button. So I'll go edit, set shot time. I don't want the current time changed. I want the reset to changed. So I wait till I hit reset to. It's now showing 18 for a boys game. I'm gonna be entering 14 for a girls game. And there's yes. And now I'm ready to go for a girls game, 24 or 14. All right, any questions, don't forget, you can always refer to the cheat sheets that are taped to the score table. Thanks for watching.